So hi, uh, I'm Demetria Williams and my son and I are doing this video. Kebron is going to record so that we can make this um, easy for everyone to understand. We thought it was a really cool idea. So we're gonna let other people know how they can do it at home. Uh, today, we are going to be making a stool out of an orange crate. So I bought some oranges, they were like $8 in this about two, three months ago. And I saw the crate and I thought, well, that's a really cute something. We could do something with it. Well, I babysit Kebron's little cousin, a great co second cousin, my great niece, um, a couple days a week. Her name is Logan. And we thought we could make a little stool for her to sit on um, during the day. So this is normally, this way is how the oranges come in the, in the bag, in this box. So all you do is flip it over and um, add some elements and it will become a cute little stool. So what you need is one of these crates from what you purchased for, from oranges. Uh, you need a piece of plywood foam board, which is like poster board, but it's thicker than poster board. And that should be the exact same measurement to fit on top. That measurement is seven and six eighths by 11 and five eighths. And I'll put that in the, the written portion then you'll need a piece of foam, um, thinner is fine, whatever you can, whatever kind you can find. And it needs to be slightly larger, you can tell. It's a little larger on the corners than your other boards because when you tuck it in with your fabric, you want it to kind of have a rounded look to it. So it's going to be slightly larger. When you cut these, you can eyeball the, the foam. So you have those pieces. You also need a piece of cute fabric. Now, Kebron and I, I, I bought three pieces, and I let Kebron help decide which ones, and he immediately loved this one for Logan. It is um, bright pink with some little mushrooms and um, snails on it. So we thought that would be cute with um, something to put around the edge, which is ribbon. This is detailed ribbon because I've actually some two pieces together. You can just buy pink ribbon, white, you can do without ribbon, um, but I just sewed this purple frill onto the pink and at the end it will kind of go around the edges to give it kind of like just a frilly element. Now um, for little boys you could pick out a different color fabric with some awesome ribbon that doesn't look so frilly. You could do all kinds of things just depending on um, the personality and the child. So you also need spray paint. We definitely don't want to leave this saying down on the side. So we picked out, I picked out purple um, to spray the, um, uh, the side and the top. And then, uh, so we give it some, some color. A pair of gloves and four screws. Now I'll tell you what that is for. This piece of your wood will be screwed into the top. So they need to be long enough. I say this is about an inch long screw and with a Phillips head and we'll put one, two, three, four to base it. And you also need a um, some type of drill. Cordless would be wonderful. We don't have that right now uh, with a Phillips head end on it. Uh, my favorite tool in the whole world. I have gone, I have um, glued together tons of Kebron's uh, Halloween costumes for uh, for Halloween with a glue gun. So that's a nifty, nifty thing. And then also a, um, a staple gun with the staples in it because you're going to be stapling from the bottom to make sure that this does stay on. First thing that we're going to do is actually screw in the piece of small wood to the top base with four screws and then we will spray paint. For this portion of the putting the stool together, you'll need the piece of fabric, a glue gun, 
the foam piece and the foam poster board. And what Kieber and I have done, we've already screwed in the wood on top to support it. And then we spray painted it, spray painted it purple, we're letting it dry. And while it's drying, we're going to do this portion. Okay, this piece of fabric will need to be 18 and a half by 19, and that's an estimate. We really just wanted to be able to cover it fully and have enough room to glue it. So you want your piece of fabric, ironed if you have to, I had to iron mine, and I will put the measurements in the written portion. What we'll do is we're going to put the foam, whichever way you want the fabric to actually show, you need to make sure you're placing it right on the foam. So I definitely want my fabric to show up and down on the stool, not sideways. So we're going to lay our foam on our fabric right in the center. Then we're going to place this in the center of the foam. You might want to come up and kind of get oh, a, yeah, a little yeah. bit closer look. Should look like that. We go ahead and put quite a bit of hot glue on the corners of the poster board and face it down on the foam. Just want it to stick to it. You have to work fast with hot glue. I'm sure you know that. Okay, and now we're going to get the fabric placed upon the foam. You want to make sure all your sides can come up like a gift. If you're wrapping a gift, this is very similar to it. You just simply want your sides to come up and you're going to fold it in on the sides here make a nice seam you do not because that will show you want to make sure it's a nice seam fold it in and glue it so you want to make sure that you work really clean with this as you're gluing it with your hot glue gun i've never done this before so this could get interesting Okay, so I'm super excited to see this starting to come together. Kimber and I worked on the purple stool, put the top on it, screwed it in, spray painted it, and now it's fairly dry. I would say dry enough to work with. It's looking super cute. This portion is done also. This is the piece of poster board or foam board with foam covered in the fabric that we chose. So my favorite side of this is probably this side. I want this to be the front. So two things you want to go to the back. Anything that really messed up with the painting needs to go to the back. And you want to make sure that when the child sits, they like the way it's uh, facing them. So when they're looking back and sitting, they want to see this right side up. So I want the front to have my pattern right side up. Okay, so we're going to hot glue this, and then we have one more step after that.
Okay, so what I did was try to align the top of the stool with the, um, the foam board, the board that was in under the foam. And then you want to get all around the edges really well and then press while you've got time. It's kind of a tough thing to try to align. Okay, so but look, this is close to the portion. We're almost done. Okay, so it is actually together with the glue. So we're this close on the stool. We're almost there. This part you really want to line right so that you cover this gap. There's like a little gap that you can see um, is between. What we're going to do is make sure that our lace or our frill or whatever you want to call it covers that up. So the alignment is a little tough. I would take this portion of it about half an inch down and um, glue it like this so that it covers that. Don't burn yourself. Ow! <laughs> uh, it's, I'm the, you're an expert with the glue gun. Yes, and if you're an expert, then you will get burned because that's just it. Okay, so the stool is completely finished. It's awesome to see something that you envision actually come to a reality. So uh, Logan's old stool is finished up. This is such a blessing to watch. And I will have this posted on my blog, which is bloomingbygrace.blogspot.com. And Kebron, who has been my recorder. There he is. Hey, you want to tell them where yours is? Uh, mine's Farmer KZW. It's a YouTube channel, and um, from Farmer KZW, you can go to my other one, Cool Shots. And on Farmer KZW, it shows me um, <coughs> with my chickens and to show you guys <coughs> about chickens. I would love to see what creations you come up with, like different colors and different themes. Um, something for a little guy, something for another little girl. So, um, wish us luck giving this to Logan. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed and awesome week.